Hello YouTube, Wolfen here. Uh, there's been a lot of folks, you know, wanting to know how to do discs for collections and things like that. So today, that's what is, that is actually exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to create a Dixper account so you can like join squads, things like that. Let me move this over here real quick because I actually have a have this here. Okay, so so basically, it's if you want to be able to one, you know, make Dixper account, so we get everything done. So as a streamer, so you can be able to use Dixper cards. But also, even if you're not a streamer, but you want to be able to join squads with um, with the streamer that you enjoy playing with, and you want to be able to have his cards played on you also. So that's what basically this video is going to be about. But let's go over to live scene. And we'll go through this here. I've already gone through a couple of steps. So here we go. So here's our Dixper account. I've already gone through one part, which is basically just syncing up my syncing up. I've got a spare Twitch account that I use for testing every once in a while with my main account. And but I never linked it up with, with uh, Dixper yet. So that's what I've done. So this is what this, this is for this part, but this is basically the only part that's missing from here is just the syncing up of your Twitch account with your Dixper account. That's it. Everything else from now on is continued. So your brand new, so your brand new streamer, you want to be able to do use Dixper for your streams, either for like Phasmophobia, Dead by Day, uh, Dead by Daylight, things like that. So first thing you got to do is you know sync up your sync up your Twitch account or YouTube account or whatever account you have, sync it up with Dixper. We've already done that. This is the next screen. You've got to create a collection. So go up here. Create new collection. We can do custom collection. Or we can cancel this and go, instead of doing this, you can actually just go in here and explore. And let's just go ahead, since let's just pretend like we're going to be doing a phasmophobia. So we choose phasmophobia. Now, if all you're doing is using this to play with other streamers, but you're not really going to stream. Just pick Phasmophobia. You don't need to worry about adding any other cards. The cards should be, whatever cards that streamer has should work on you also. I have a lot of custom cards that when I play with other streamers, if, if people who are from my stream use them while I'm playing with someone else, my cards get played on them also, even though they do not have my cards. So you just need one collection just to get, every, just to get everything going. So just go ahead and select all the skills. This is just the easiest, quick way, boom, 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 to get things done. This first step we're going to select 32 skills that you have selected will be exported to, let's go to my collections. Okay. Hmm. Don't tell me it doesn't let us go back. Oh, there we go. Okay, so it looks like we've got to make a collection, create a collection. Just choose Phasmophobia. A collection name, select an icon for the collection. We'll just choose this one. Yeah, just create my collection. Okay. Now we've got our collection. So now if you go back to here, you'll see, you know, you've got your live. You got my collections, Phasmophobia. Okay, now we need to activate the collection. Once you activate the collection, now you'll be able to do, if you're a streamer, these are now active on your stream. So when you join up on a Phasmophobia game and Dixburg becomes active, your skills will be enabled and people will be able to play these cards on you if they buy packs. If you're playing with a streamer, these uh, now any cards that he has will be played on you. You just have to activate the pack. So we've, so we've activated that. Now all these cards are active. Now we're good. Let's go back to here. Okay, now you see, 
now is where you can be able to join a squad. Okay, so you've got, you set up, you've got everything linked, you've picked your, your pack, which is Phasmophobia. When you come back to this screen to join your squad, you're going to see Phasmophobia is going to be, this is going to be cycling, looking for a game. Right now, I've already got Phasmophobia up in the background, so it's already synced up. But what you're going to want to do is click on this and go and choose Phasmophobia or whatever game you are playing. And then sync with the collection. Now it's saying so we are waiting for Phasmophobia. So now we will do this. And sometimes you have to do this a couple times. But sometimes it takes a little bit of time to do it. So we'll give it a little bit of, we'll give it a little bit of uh, time here. And if yet, yeah, and there we go. So now, now you can join a squad or create your own squad and things will work correctly. So hope that helps. So now let's go to uh, the squad skills because now all of a sudden our squad skills become active. So if you're, if you're a streamer and you want to create your own squad and every squad has to basically, when people leave, you need to basically start a new squad. This isn't something that you can keep that the game remembers. So you always have those same players. No, it's basically each time your group of people are playing, you got to, you got to create. But for most of you, well, for some of you is going to be join a squad. So let's say you're, let's say you're joining me. I would create the squad. So there's Wolfie bot. There's my code name. So I would copy, I would copy this and paste it in either discord in my discord or on the chat. Then what you would do would come back here. You'd open up your Dixper app and go to join squad. And then you would paste that code in there and then click join the squad. And that's pretty much it. And boom, now you, now when you play with other players, you now are able to, uh, Join their dicks for squads and get cards played on you also and get scared. So I hope let's go back to this chat. So I hope that is inf informative. I hope it was pretty simple. It's not, it's not a hard process. It's just, there's just a couple of steps, but I hope this video helps you out and I hope you have a great day. Bye. <laughs>